जगन्नाथ स्वामी की बलदेव सुभद्र महाराणी की जजनिताय गौर प्रवनंदे celebrating Lord Jagannath who is known as the Lord of the Universe and on very very special days and occasions the entire Lord of the Universe says okay maybe all of you cannot come to India Maybe even if some of you have gone to India, you can't come to Jagannath Puri, where Lord Jagannath is. And he says that maybe if you come to India, and then you even make it to Jagannath Puri, maybe you just don't make it inside the temple. And so Lord Jagannath says, fine, I'll come to you. Not only will I come outside on the streets of Jagannath Puri, I will cross seas, oceans, to arrive in a little known, mostly forgotten, not exactly spiritual, small village on the east coast of North America. So he decides that I will be the most merciful. I will come and meet you wherever you are. So please, this is Jagannath. On the far side is his brother Baladev. And in the middle is his little sister Subhadra. So this festival is also like National Sibling Day. And so now you've all been properly introduced. Jagannath has come to meet you. You've met Jagannath. We've made our introductions, yes? So we'll be singing a lot of things today, but we'll especially be calling out to Jagannath, saying, Hey, Jagannath! Hey, Jagannath! Hey, Jagannath! Hey, Jagannath! Jai Balade! Jai Subhadra! When the time comes, I'll need you to scream at the top of your lungs. Jagannath can hear you, but we want to make sure he really, really hears you. He's very good at answering many, many prayers. So I think we can all agree that we all have many, many prayers in our heart, yes? Yes. Anyone here have no prayers at all in their heart? Everybody completely satisfied? They have nothing to pray for? No? We're all filled up with desires and things that we desperately need to pray for? Yeah? Yes? No? Maybe? Yes! Yes! Kind of? Yeah. So we're in the perfect place at the right time to make all of our heart's most cherished prayers come true. Even though he seems as though he doesn't have hands, still he is accepting all of the offerings of love from his devotees. Although it seems as though he does not have feet, he moves according to his own will. He moves with the gait of an elephant. He is completely intoxicated with love. His mind is reeling with thoughts of his beloved devotees and how he can save them from the great ocean of distress. He lives on Nilachala Hill.
This same Lord, he carries a conch shell, a chakra, a lotus flower, and a club. But he is also Krishna himself, who plays the flute and dances with the beloved gopis in Sri Vrindavan Dham. Those very same gopis gazed at Lord Jagannath and they thought, who is this that we see? Where is your turban? Where is your top knot? Where are the forest flowers in your hair? Where is your peacock feather? Where is your flute? How can this be our Sham Sundar? Now you are a big king. You have many, many responsibilities. How can you associate with us village gopis? Lord Jagannath, with great pleasure, manifested a threefold bending form. He manifested his flute and his peacock feather. And he began to play for the pleasure of the gopis of Vrindavan. In the same way, Lord Jagannath has manifested to fulfill every heart's desire. Lord Jagannath lives on Nilachal Mountain. Nityaya Paramatmane. He is the same super soul living in the hearts of every single living entity. I offer my respects unto Jagannath Day.
of our prayers. So I think we're ready, yeah? here regularly to Washington Square Park one of the days and there's a different energy and Jagannath came specifically to change the energy but the energy in this park is very strong sometimes there are uh, did you see the beautiful mudras that Radhika was showing to represent Jagannath so some of the people who are in this park have different mudras I've seen them uh, some of them are a little more aggressive some of the, the mantras they chant are a little different and their incense smells a little bit different than the incense we burn. So Lord Jagannath has come to change this mood. But Lord Jagannath requires us to build this energy. The Holy Name manifests, but we build the altar for this sound manifestation. So the Holy Name is going to form. But it is up to us to enthusiastically build the altar for the holy name to manifest. So actually, it's really important. It's everybody's responsibility. So, are we ready? Hold on. Some of you still seem really unsure. I really need you guys to be here on other days because you... So we need a little bit more energy to counteract that energy from last Saturday. Are we ready? Are you? That's the one. That's the one. So, of course, when I say Jagannath Swami Ki, you all Jai! say Jai! Jai! Which means victory to Lord Jagannath. So we're going to try that at the top of our lungs. Shri Jagannath Swami Ki! Hey, 
जगन्नाथ जगन्नाथ हे 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 I'm, I'm looking at so many of you, and many, 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 many of you found me today and told me the same thing. I watch you on YouTube all the time. Has anyone seen this video? Hands up. Both hands up. So now you have to sing along. Yeah? Otherwise, it doesn't have the same effect. You all make it possible.
the loud chanting.
सरोवर जगन्नाथ पर शिशिराथ गोविंद देव राधे 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 गोविंद जय without 
at the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And so this is my sister Goramani. She is the embodiment of all of the jewels of what Goranga Mahaprabhu. Jagannath comes out specifically for one reason, for all of you to have a personal relationship with him. And so, you are the embodiment of the entire reason that Jagannath manifested in the first place. So now, so now it's your turn.
So many stories where the Lord is uh, feeling a certain way, and immediately his closest personal servant appeared. And the embodiment of that, Shudarshan Chakra's Param, he just manifested out of nowhere. Sometimes, when necessary, this very intense personality comes out of nowhere. Some of our gopis are in the crowd. We have, we plant them there so they sing loudly and so they encourage everyone else to sing. So, some of them are actually named directly after that day. Like, like Radhi.
can chant very loudly. It's so inspirational. And most of us can chant at regular decibels and we need microphones. But we have a Sham here who doesn't have those boundaries and limitations. He is extremely loud and he's extremely important to our kirtan. And so we're gonna have him sing. I don't even know if he, I don't even know if he needs a microphone. So what we did is we got a new shop, and it's Krishna, and he also does not need a microphone. Sham is my son Srinam, who's all the way in the back there, and he's going to sing now, from there. First Nandi's going to sing until he gets him. Oh. Especially merciful, and he carries around a special fruit, his Marali fruit too. And his personal servant, Nayana Manjuri, is here, and she's going to chant Radhe Murli I'm sure of it.
Krishna, Krishna, Krishna.
Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So this is the oldest Maya Puri. You might not notice he has his shirt on, and sometimes the other Maya Puri's do not have their shirts on. But he is the OG Maya Puri. Before there was any Maya Puri. This is Premananda Gore. He is the embodiment of enthusiasm. Did you see him leap off the stage in a Hari Kari? Not Hare Krishna, and a Hare Kari movie almost committed suicide for the holy name. This is the intensity we need. He, he almost committed suicide. Please chant with this intensity. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Tell this story later. Oh, hey! 
जगन्नाथ है जगन्नाथ हे 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 जगन्नाथ Shiva, but that's also okay. <laughs> He really, really, really wants to hear you. Jagannath, 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 Jagann
Krishna, Krishna, Hare, Hare.